welcome to the next part of uh, our video about zone schedules. We will continue filling the schedule. The field contains the zone names. I underlined that they are connected with the zone features in our project. Therefore, if we change the zone name from the schedule, it will automatically change itself in the project also. We will just show you that. First, we change the parameters that are shown on the screen for the zone. We add the zone number and the zone name. And now we go to our schedule. We click on the uh, schedule of the planned element because the current renovation filter is planned. And now we change the name of uh, zone number 1.9 and zone number 1.10 and see if the project changes also. You see uh, the two names appeared on the screen. Passing by and storage. And we continue with the same manner of all of our other zones. Whenever we change the column zone name, it appears on the project. Note that they appear automatically on the floor plan. Now we will disable the zone name from showing on the floor plan. We will show also the zone ID in the info box, which will allow to enter in it the English name of the zones. In the zone name tag, we will enter the Bulgarian name of the zones. Now we are searching for the zone ID. Rearrange the position of the zone ID. Don't show custom text, but show the ID instead. And whenever we enter the name, the English name, it will show on the screen also. This is a trick of mine and I suggest you use it also when you type multilingual zones. Now we will add the zone ID. Bear in mind that there are four types of ID in the list uh, to, for choosing and uh, you must choose compact element ID. We will remain the headings of each attribute. And we copy the name of the zones in the English tab. 
the English name and uh, we will type the Bulgarian name so. We have typo of our zone names, both English and Bulgarian, and uh, they appeared on the project, on the floor plan, whenever they were enabled, of course, because for some zones we disabled showing the, their names. We can also rearrange the column size for each attribute. We will apply specific uh, font and uh, text color for our heading. First to make them bold. We can also change the text color and the border color also. We change the heading of the zone, uh, of the zone schedule, pardon me. And now we will go to the Layouts tab and uh, place our schedule on the correct layout. We can change the size of our schedule, of course, by stretching the nodes and also change the appearance of it. The, we can uh, exclude some columns by dragging the boundary in, which we will do in a second. We can rotate it and in this case we will do that because it is too long for this layout. And finally, we will rearrange it and print the layout. We will show you the result in the end. I want to mention that uh, this schedule is uh, completely aligned with the drawing and whenever you change uh, an element it will automatically update itself. Now we print the drawing. And this is the final result. I will just rotate it. And you can see our zone schedule.
Thanks for watching. Uh, this was a very interesting video for me personally. And I haven't seen any such tutorials on YouTube. I hope you will find it very useful and uh, be inspired in your practice, of course. See you. It's Nicole Walev signing off.